what does building emotional resilience at work really give you and how do you build and develop resilience are both questions that I'm answering today. If you're heading towards or you are in the management ranks already, then building emotional resilience at work is a must. Managers need emotional resilience to do their jobs well. Emotional resilience is how effectively you can handle difficult experiences in your life and how you turn adversity or setbacks into opportunities. Managers and leaders in business face constant challenges from all directions. Without emotional resilience, the job would become overwhelming, plus dealing with people always brings challenges. I'm covering seven critical reasons to build emotional resilience at work, and then I'm going through these seven ways to build emotional resilience at work. And with each way to build emotional resilience at work, I will share practical tips and steps for you to take. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses for you to manage your team with integrity and fairness and get outstanding results. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below, as well as the video timestamps, so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There are a ton of reasons to build emotional resilience. We all face challenges and setbacks in life. Those that are more resilient get through these challenges quicker, easier and with a more positive outcome. I've had big personal challenges to deal with from a quite a young age, which has helped me develop resilience and the belief that I could and would get through each challenge. This mindset and belief stood me in very good stead when faced with all the challenges that come with managing others and building a career in management. Let's go through seven critical reasons to build emotional and resilience at work. To do well at work, and certainly when you start managing and leading others, emotional resilience becomes an increasingly important factor. Challenges come up regularly and there are plenty of setbacks, at a personal level and through your team. Without emotional resilience, I think it would be really hard to do a good job. So the seven key benefits of being emotionally resilient at work include, firstly, you are better at handling challenges. Now, your team and everyone is watching how you react and deal with challenges and difficulties. When you're able to take them in your stride and not get too emotionally worked up and focus on overcoming the challenges in a step-by-step -step approach, you give everyone a lot of confidence. Secondly, better decision-making. We make decisions using our emotions and then justify those decisions with reason. Strong emotions can sidetrack our decisions and certainly reduce the checks that reasoning provides. Emotional resilience keeps our decision making clearer and less influenced by the actions and behaviours of others. Third, manage conflicts constructively. In a positive conflict, such as differences of opinion and heated debate, produce really positive outcomes within a team when managed well. I think you need to be emotionally resilient to manage positive conflict well. And the negative destructive conflict also requires plenty of emotional resilience to deal with and remove. Fourth, you are better at preventing burnout. You know, it takes confidence and emotional resilience to say no to work being requested of you. It takes resilience to fight to protect your team, to keep them from being overloaded and to keep them on course. Not being overly worked will reduce your stress levels and the chances of burnout. Fifth, you will adapt to change better. Change is constant at work. The pace of change is the only real difference between one company to another. When you are resilient, you are able to manage a higher pace of change without it overwhelming you or causing too high stress levels, etc. Sixth, you'll be better at maintaining personal well-being. If you're able to keep a positive mindset, even when the problems are piling up, you are much more likely to maintain your personal well-being. This helps you remain effective and resolving the issues you face. And seventh, you'll be better at managing others. The ability to recognise and manage how you express your emotions and having emotional resilience, in my view, are critical qualities of good managers. The demands on you and your team are going to pull your emotions around and having good emotional resilience will help minimise the impact on you of the emotional ups and downs. And there are more reasons to build emotional resilience at work. Emotional resilience is a key quality to enable you to get good at what you do, 
in work and outside of work. Now we're going to cover how to build emotional resilience. The first way to build emotional resilience is to develop your own self-awareness. For instance, are you aware of what gets you annoyed, angry, frustrated, down in the dumps and all the other negative emotions that we all have? When you're aware of your own triggers, you are much more able to create positive responses to the situation rather than let it negatively affect you. Make time to reflect each day on what went well and why and what didn't go so well. You know, think about your reactions and what you might do differently next time. You know, I often used to use my commute home for this reflection time. It was one of my best parts of my working day. The second way to build emotional resilience is to maintain a positive mindset and learn to reframe. Your brain is brilliant at filtering out information. If it wasn't so good, we would have sensory overload. It has been proven that if you look for the negatives, your brain filters out the positives and vice versa. Consciously work at looking for the positives in a situation and you're going to be much more likely to find them. See challenges as opportunities to improve and learn. You know, this approach is often referred to as a growth mindset or a learning mindset. When you work at focusing on the positives, you are much more likely to learn and improve. And this is massive in terms of doing well at work. Put in the work to create a habit so that you look for the positives in every situation. Doing so will build your resilience and you'll be a lot happier. The third way to build emotional resilience at work is to work on building effective communication. Part of building emotional resilience at work is learning how to express your emotions in a positive and constructive way. When you experience negative emotions such as frustration and anger, don't rant and rave at the unfairness of the situation. Use labelling to tell people that you are frustrated and angry. You know, for example, I'm really, really angry about this situation. And you know, the benefits to you will be similar, but the effect to those around you will be a lot more positive. And good communication also helps to build strong and deep relationships with friends, and it helps foster open dialogue with team members. Good communication helps in giving and receiving useful feedback, and in getting through tough situations with relationships intact. The better you get through tough situations, the more confidence you build that you'll be able to do the same again which in turn builds emotional resilience at work. The fourth way to build emotional resilience at work is to create strong support networks. You know, very few of us can cope with everything that life and work throws at us on our own. Knowing when to turn to others for help is as important as having others available to turn to. Good supportive friendships take time to build and maintain. The ability to share your problems with good friends or family and know they will respond and help you with your best interests in mind is incredibly valuable. Put the time into creating good strong support networks around you. you know, go out of your way to help others and they are much more likely to help you in return when you ask. Strong support networks provide you a lot more emotional resilience and the ability to cope with very tough challenges. The fifth way to build emotional resilience is to develop your inner drive. When you have worked out what you really want, when you have clear goals you're striving to reach that really matter to you, overcoming obstacles and challenges becomes easier. Having purpose and goals to reach strengthens your will and increases your energy, which makes getting through the tough patches much more achievable. You don't lose your way as much or give up nearly as often and you can pick yourself up, dust yourself off and go again and again until you reach your goals. Develop your inner drive by believing in and focusing on the goals that really matter to you. The sixth way to build emotional resilience is to celebrate success. When you are facing a tough challenge or a set of challenges, making the time to celebrate all the little successes along the way will help you keep taking the next step. This is a great way to keep up your motivation and drive. You're recognizing and celebrating your successes builds your resilience over time. Building your experience and confidence in overcoming challenges will make facing the next one easier and less daunting. Plus you'll know that you can make it through because you've done so before. Make the time to celebrate your successes to build your emotional resilience. And the seventh way to build emotional resilience is to keep physically active. You know, exercise gives you loads of benefits, including first, you know, lower stress levels, better sleep, 
better physical health and digestion, etc. It gives you more energy, an increased sense of self-worth, plus lots more. All these benefits help you directly or indirectly with the other six ways to build emotional resilience. Doing an activity that takes your mind and emotions away from your current challenges gives you a break and enables you to recharge. Do make the time to stay physically active to improve your energy and all the other benefits this gives you to build emotional resilience. Building emotional resilience at work and for life generally, in my view, is necessary to be successful in just about anything. Becoming good at anything takes time and it takes getting over numerous disappointments. Without emotional resilience, you would give up well before you became good at your task, activity, hobby, etc. Emotional resilience keeps you in the game. And as a reminder, here are the seven critical reasons to build emotional resilience at work. Firstly, you are better at handling challenges. Secondly, better decision making. Third, you manage conflicts more constructively. Fourth, you are better at preventing burnout. Fifth, you will adapt to change better. Sixth, you'll be better at maintaining personal well-being. And then seventh, you're better at managing others. And the seven ways to build emotional re resilience at work we've gone through are, firstly, self-awareness, a key to emotional resilience. Secondly, maintain a positive mindset and learn to reframe. Third, work on building effective communication. Fourth, create strong support networks. Fifth, develop your inner drive. Sixth, celebrate successes. And then seventh, keep physically active. If you have any questions on the seven reasons to build emotional resilience at work, plus seven ways to do it, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.